different, y'all. Okay. Good, good evening. We are about to see Shannon Taylor on Beauty on a Budget tonight. So thank you for sharing this evening with me and all of us. When you come on, if you will just automatically mute yourself, it's better when we go back and look at the recordings. If we have a very clean recording, it's so much easier for people to watch. I'm going to be spotlighting um, Shannon pretty soon, but first, Casey Cogren. Now, Casey, you're, oh, you're spotlighted right now. Oh, good. Cool. Have you been okay. reading the whole time for you while I was talking? No, I'm, I'm on gallery view, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Right for them, because, um, well, I'll just leave you spotlighted right now, because I think you are spotlighted. Let me see. Spotlight. And, no, ma'am. Okay. So now, okay, for me, you were. So yes. she is going to speak, and then I will spotlight Shannon to help you get your glow. So here we go. All right, guys, I'm so excited. For those of you jumping on that are here live with us, we are so happy to share this evening with you. Thank you for your time. Uh, we know there's a lot of other things that you could be doing, um, including just vegging out to some Netflix. So we're so happy to be um, in a space with you to just share and um, get to know you as you wow. share your thoughts and questions about what Shannon's going to share with us tonight. But I want to welcome all of you with the history of Lime Life. I um, just a snippet of my story, my personal story, is that I actually was looking for a business, looking for a product line to provide to my clients that I had already formed um, being in this industry. So I was looking for an incredible company, brand, product, uh, commission plan. I was looking for all of it, right? Um, I didn't know that I was going to be able to find something that provided all of those things for me. I thought maybe if I found a great product, I would, I would join this company, join that company for my, for my clients. But guys, Lime Life is, um, is just incredible on every level. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about wh why I believe so strongly in that. Um, we are Lime Life by Alcone. Alcone is the beauty brand that you are likely very familiar with the iconic um, name of Alcone. It is a retail store based out of New York City, and it has been providing professional makeup to celebrities and celebrity makeup artists for over 67 years now. What happened was the Malardi family that owns the Alcone store, they actually recognized that celebrity makeup artists were sending their clients to their store because they're their clients were loving the Alcone product that, that their makeup artist was using, and then therefore going to the store to shop and have and purchase the Alcone products. The Malardi family recognized this and they sought, um, they wanted to have an, um, a business plan that would help those, those celebrity makeup artists in the off season. So what they formulated was an idea to put the product in the hand of the makeup artist so that they wouldn't be sending business away from them that when their clients that they were that were in their chairs were, were ooing and awing over the product they weren't going to lose business when their client went and bought the product they could they're not only sell their service but their product as well so um, the amazing Michelle Malardi, she searched high and low for a business model, and she actually avoided the direct sales business model because of, you know, the uh, uh, want, want stigma, right? Well, she realized that truly the direct sales model is the business model to invest in because it is all built on compounding. So Michelle came back to it and she um, formed Lime Life, which was first Alcone at home, then it became Lime Light. So if this is the first time you're ever hearing anything or hearing the story of who we are and you're and you've been confused all this time about what I thought it was lime light but it's lime life so we were first Alcone at home then it became as it grew it became lime light and then I think it's now been two years a little over two years we went international and when we grew internationally we um, took on the name lime life so we are lime life by Alcone 
So we were built on the back of Alcone. Okay. That is huge. Um, and I'm going to wrap up and get to the good stuff with Shannon, but this is what, this is what I really want to drive home is that we were built on the name of Alcone. The professional makeup is filtered into our, um, into us. Like we are Alcone makeup. And, um, then our all natural skincare line was built to complement that pro makeup. And it was built because of Michelle, um, a quick family story on Michelle Malardi and her, one of her best friends was actually, um, struck with cancer and her physician team felt strongly that the cancer that she, um, that ultimately, um, took her life effect, um, Came, um, was come, came on by some of um, the products that she had been using in her life. So we know that skincare is actually built to get into the bloodstream to, to rebuild skin cells, right? So we, now, since we know that, we, we want that, that to be healthy product on our skin. Something that you're putting on your skin that you know is built to go deep into the lower levels of your skin, we need that to be safe and healthy and we want it to be effective. So Michelle was determined to have a safe, healthy, effective product line to complement the pro makeup. So that's who we are. We are Limelight by Alcone, incredible natural skincare with our amazing pro makeup that Shannon is going to tell us a lot more about what really makes uh, makeup pro. Um, so yeah, there's so many amazing things to share with you about um, about what makes my life stand apart. Um, but that um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. Um, but if you are a guest tonight, please get with your beauty guide um, and have her tell you more stories about what sets us apart because we truly are a very unique um, direct sales company. So thank you so much for um, being here with us tonight. Okay, so also if you're a guest, put down in the chat who you're a guest of so that we know that. And the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna try to answer questions. We're gonna try to catch things so that we don't interrupt Shannon and we're just gonna let her go. So right now I am going to spotlight Shannon Taylor. And Shannon, tell us before you get started when you joined and why you joined. I think that's always nice to hear that from people. So let me spotlight you. Okay. Hey guys. Well, Kathy gave a nice introduction and uh, got a little background noise there. Can you hear me okay? Let me, I just got to really make sure that people are muted when they come on. So I'm going to keep trying to do that. Go. Okay. Well, thank you for the introduction, Kathy and the history, Casey. Um, like Kathy said, my name is Shannon Taylor, and I am now a director with Lime Life by Alcone. Uh, I joined two and a half years ago in February, and the reason I joined, you guys, I just was always one of those girls who loved to play in makeup and play dress up, and Barbie was my little sister, um, who was like my real life Barbie. Um, however, as an adult, I went to nursing school, and that is my trained profession, um, and then I went on to have a cake and wedding business with my mom. So I've had a little bit of um, change in jobs. I love helping people. That's what it comes down to, um, but to serve my family best, I really needed to be at home. And cakes, wedding cakes, you can guess, it takes every weekend and every second around the clock to get those things set up and just perfect for people. So this really um, was a fit for my desire to get to do all things fun and pretty and make women feel special um, and just really ended up being a good fit for my family. However, I will say that when I joined, um, it really was to get the discount because I love the products and I was going to be buying them anyway. So I thought, why not get the discount, right? And then I quickly saw that I could actually help financially with my family doing something that I love and still get the products that I like at a good price. So that is a little backstory on me. And now I'm gonna move forward with getting a rosy glow. So you can kind of tell um, that my face is lopsided, right? I wanted to give you guys a good before and after effect of this beautiful, do you see this nice sheen that I have going on, on my eyes here and on my cheek? And then you'll see this uneven skin, tired mom eyes, right? Um, so like probably many of you watching, I am a mom of three boys. Um, I'm in my middle 40s 
And I like to feel good about myself. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Everybody wants to feel um, like they look amazing and they feel amazing because that kind of shines through. So before we get onto the rosy glow, I want to show you guys a little bit about prepping your skin because that is so very important to get this. You got to do a little bit of work with this to prep the canvas, right? Oh, thank you, Casey. Casey says you look amazing. Well, I don't get tired of hearing that. So, um, and anybody else shouldn't either, right? I, I love making women feel special. So tonight, I'm going to show you how to get this look with a very few products um, and give you a little few um, bits about the products along the way as we go. The first thing I'm gonna start with, which isn't probably something that you would have thought of, comes in this cute little pot. And true to my cake maker self, I love sweets. I love things that smell good. And this smells like vanilla. Any guesses as to what this is? Anybody already know? It is sugar lip scrub, sugar. My, my best friend and, and also my enemy, right? Mm -hmm. um, so like many people this time of year and after COVID, um, I have been trying to not have the sugar, not have the bread, but this, you guys, I put some of this on. I have to admit I'm a little late to the game on trying this, but what happens with all the mask wearing, the temperature's changing, the air is changing. So that means our skin integrity is changing, including our lips, especially with the mask wearing. And you'll see this lovely beauty I have. Um, that's a joke. It's not really beautiful. I'm not proud to show it to you, but this is reality. And I figure I'm not the only one who gets mask me, right? So we're gonna talk about addressing that and move it on to the good side. Um, this sugar lip scrub takes a really little bit. But what happens, you're wearing these masks all day long and your lips get dry and crackly um, and then you break out, right? Well, this sugar lip scrub, you just put it on just a little dab will do you. And that's even like a lot what I just put on. And you just kind of scrub because what you wanna do, not only to your lips, <laughs> Trish says, I'm not the only, now, I can't be the only one. I know I've heard lots of people talking about mask meat, right? But I just did a wedding this last weekend and I noticed that a lot of the people had dry lips. Well, you need to prep your lips just like you prep your face. Um, for time purposes, I'm not doing a whole exfoliant on my face this evening, um, but you catch the drift and your lips are so important. This is already feeling better. And I accidentally did this the other day and it's really easy to do now. Do you hear this crunching? Those are the sugar crystals. There's literally real sugar in this. And oh, especially when you're sugar starved, it tastes amazing. And it's not gonna hurt you or your kids. Um, I know all my kids are wearing masks at school these days. Um, so the good thing about all of our products is they're free of harsh chemicals and we use all natural ingredients. So I just got a little sugar treat and it tastes amazing. <laughs> Okay, so you rub that in and I mean, it kind of just like even plumps up your lips, but it gets rid of all that crusty dry skin. So you want to exfoliate. The good thing about this is it is an exfoliant, an emollient, and a humectant. I'm not going to go into detail about what all those words mean, but basically it makes your lips look better. Okay, so you're going to wipe that off unless you lick it all off, like I did the first time I used it because I was so sugar starved. So be gone sugar lips, okay? <laughs> all right, so moving on from that, I am going to show you what I love to use. This is our natural Botox. It is called Sotox. Um, I myself have really oily skin. You still need to hydrate your skin and you still need to prep it for good makeup and skincare, right? This for me is enough moisturization. Um, some other people, you might need to add another moisturizer, but that's what your beauty guide's for. She can talk you through whatever your skin needs are, what things you want to address and move on from there. I've already put this on my face because really when you want to do great makeup, you wanna put your skincare on about five to 10 minutes before you do your makeup so it has a good chance to soak in 
and plump up your skin, okay? Uh, the second thing is that everybody should have is a great primer. Thanks, Casey, that is a great tip. Yes, do your skincare and your skin prep five to 10 minutes before you're gonna put your makeup on. So I'm gonna spray my face with my priming spray. All flying through the air, gotta be able to see better. All right, and that's gonna dry for just a second. While that's drying, I wanna show you the three main pieces that I am going to use to get our color this evening. We're talking about lips, right? We're gonna use lip colors and they're all in the rose family. So we have a lot of new uh, lip liners that just came out for the fall and I am really loving this rosy color. So all these, although these are different shades, they're all in that rose family and we're just gonna mix them and use our fingers like paint. And then I'm gonna get to the really exciting part, the glow, okay? Oh, Jamie says she loves the new lip liners. Let me show you something. If you're not familiar with our lip liners, listen to this. You hear that click? That's a self sharpening lid so that every time you get it, it comes out in a perfect little point and it doesn't come out. So it's not messy if you're in your car, in between lunch break or work, whatever. And I just can't stand looking at myself with this lopsided face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on while my primer's drying. Typically, I do my lips last. All right, now at least I feel like I can look straight at you. All right, so that was the Rose, Rose lip liner, however you wanna say it. It just looks like Rose, but I've heard fancy people say Rose and I kinda like that. So we're, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so my face is nice and dry now. Um, I am going to dip into my foundation. Now, this look that I have going on, you guys literally only took me about seven minutes. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer tonight because I'm talking you through it, but I'm going to put my foundation on and you'll see my skin is going to get a lot more even. Another reason I love our foundation is because it's wax based. So that means several things. As an oily skin person, it doesn't give me problems with my acne. Secondly, the longer it's on, the softer it looks. It's designed to sit on the top of your skin. And so your body heat actually warms it up and softens it. And honestly, it automatically gives you like a nice natural glow. See? I'll have on a foundation. Okay, now we're gonna go into some concealer because I always like to do a little bit of highlighting and concealing around those mom eyes. Nobody wants to look tired and saggy, right? This is what gives you an automatic lift. And you can really just use your fingers. Honestly, let me get up close here so you can see. It just melts it and smooths it around. Shannon, when you come up closer like that, if you can get a little closer. Mm -hmm. there, can you see better? There, uh -huh, we can all see better. Right about there. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. There was a this glare. There? And so this is- Oh, perfect. great. And what color was that of concealer? Okay, so this, this concealer is concealer zero. I find this beneficial for most, most people um, for highlighting. The foundation color that I used is all of three. Okay. And this is the time of year that you definitely should be contacting your beauty guide because your color is probably going to start getting lighter. Let me move in. Yes, that's perfect. That better? Yes. Better? Okay. So once you have your foundation and your concealer on and all blended in, you are going to go every, over everything with powder. Now I'm gonna use our HD powder, high definition powder. This is high quality. This is what I tell everybody, makes you look like you have that Snapchat filter on and look really soft without the filter. So you get to look soft in real life. Maybe this light, if I turn that away, how's that? Is that better, yeah, Kathy? Better. 
Uh huh. Okay. I had an extra light. Back color. There. there was there was a glow. A glow. Yeah, glow. I was I was trying to lighten up my room, and I think it um messed up the picture. Okay, so you're just gonna pat that powder on, and if you were really basic, you could just walk out the door like that. Look how much softer and great my skin integrity is, and I am gonna touch up this little itty bitty mask me really quick with some of my concealer. Our concealer is great, you guys. It was actually designed to help burn victims um, cover up their skin issues, and it helps to hide tattoos as well. So that's a good little tidbit about that. We'll just put some more powder on there. Okay, so that is set and ready to go. Now, where's my next item I was looking for? We are... Um, we're gonna use some eyeshadow to do some contouring with this evening because I wanna keep it to where you can multi-use your products. So I'm gonna use an eyeshadow that's called One Night Sand. And I like this for several, several different things. One, if you're fair, you can use it for some contour. It has a matte finish to it. So that part on your contouring, you really don't want shiny. You can also use it for eyeshadow, which is its first intent and purpose. And this is how you get your eyes looking really soft. You always want a transition color that's probably about one to two shades darker than your normal skin tone. And you just put it on like a windshield wiper motion. Hold your brush at the end, like a feather duster and lightly feather back and forth. Okay, so that's step one on your eye. Then while we're still using this product, we're gonna use it for some contour. Okay, so you can see that. And then you can just take a bigger brush and you're just gonna buff that out. Oops, dropped my brush. Okay, and then you could even go back and do just a little bit of contouring around the edge of your face. So what you're trying to achieve is keep the middle of your face light and the outer edges dark. And a lot of times when I'm teaching people and beauty, new beauty guides, what I'll say is if you can just draw a number three around the side of your face, that's an easy way to remember where your contouring is gonna go. Okay, so now let's get to the fun stuff, the color, which we are going to use our lip colors. So when I did my lips, I actually filled in my whole lips with the rose colored lip liner. There, now we're even. And in the center, I used our lip color birthday cake. So you get a really natural look and you're still in that rose pink family, okay? Now, when I'm working on eyes, it's just my personal preference to go from light, lighter shades to darker shades. So you're gonna take your birthday cake color and you're actually gonna make some dots on the outer part of your eye, okay? Now, what happens, because this is an enduring lip color, and you just blend it out with your finger, look how soft that looks. Once it dries, it also dries matte, but the cool thing about it is it's kind of like a cream to powder product. So it doesn't feel sticky on your eye, it's not going off. This side of my face, you guys, I did at six o'clock this morning, okay? And it's still, still holding up even through my oily skin. Thanks, Jamie. What'd you say you want to, what did Jamie say she wants to try? Something. Birthday cake. On her to try birthday cake. I love birthday cake. Okay, so if you're really fair, you would also use this for your cheek color, okay? Just a couple dots and then you blend it out. And for this, product, I feel like when you're not using it on your lips, it's just best to use your fingers. So you see, I already have a nice little 
pink tone kind of looks airbrushed, but I'd like a little bit more color. Hang on a second, I'm losing my earbud. So I'm gonna go back with the second color that I showed you, which is Ruby Chocolate. So you guys, all of these actually on their own make a really good look, but you can mix and match. And the great thing about these is not only are they interchangeable for different parts of your face, but the price point is really good. So if you were thinking about being able to switch up your look or gifting somebody a set that they could do so many things with, I would go with a sugar, sugar lip scrub, a lip liner and a lip color. Cause you can just do so many things with just those three products and the price point is great for all three of those. All right, so the Ruby chocolate, I'm also gonna go back and then I'm gonna put that in the extra outer, outer part of my eye extra outer part. I tell people to try to do like a greater than less than symbol on the sides of their eyes. And that kind of helps with placement because you want to keep the inner corner light, which I'm going to, I'm almost to the really best part, the best product. And then I'm going to add just a couple more dots here on my cheek with the Ruby chocolate. So I can get a little bit more intense color. And you just blend that out. Okay. And then for myself, I like to layer my powder a couple times because again, I tend to have really oily skin and this really helps to keep the product in place and soak up that oil during the day. So we're just putting that powder on and this is powder color number three, wheat, which also covers most people. We do have different shades though. So ask your beauty guide, what is the right shade for you? Okay, so you see, I'm still looking a little bit lopsided and that's because I don't have this brow done. So you'll see the difference in what filling in your brow makes. And then we're gonna get to the glow, which I can't wait to tell you about. I've been studying about these glow drops. They're really, really cool. Okay, so we're gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeliner on. And we're just gonna quickly blend that out. The eyeliner that I'm using is our waterproof eyeliner gel pencil. And the reason that that's great, especially this time of year, who has allergies? Who has watery eyes? We don't want our eyeliner getting in our eye or watering down our face, right? So this is a great product for that. It does set pretty quick though. So once you get it on, you need to blend it. Blend it as quick as you can before, before it dries because then it's not budging. So let's just go back and get this just a little bit more. I'm gonna drag that in a little bit. And again, I like to leave this inner corner there because we're gonna lighten that um, to help give us part of that youthful glow. All right, and then on the top, I like to use our brown eyeliner pen because it's just so very precise. It's an actual brush. It's not felt, it doesn't fray. Good. And then I like to make a little wing. To accentuate my eyes and draw them out, make them a little bit bigger. Okay. Do like this side. Let's match a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Now we match. And we are gonna go in and do our eyebrow. Now, what's really cool about the color that I'm gonna use to do my eyebrow is this also the very last part that I used to set out here in the outer corner. So again, you're getting two uses out of one product, which is an eyeshadow. And this one is called Taupe for the Best. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take my brush and just one little dab. One little dab will do ya. 
put it and stamp it on in that outer corner. And sometimes I even just use my pinky and set it on. And then you're just gonna drag it in. But you see what that did, you guys, it gave some depth and dimension and helped open up my tiny little eyes and pull them out. So um, that is a good trick. Put a dark part right out here in the outer corner. Okay, so now for my eyebrow, you can use a pencil, you can use anything you like, but again, I like to get multiple uses out of my products. So I'm gonna use that same spray that I used in the beginning, spray it in the cap that came with it because we're making use of all the things that we already have. And I'm gonna use my double-sided angled brush, dip it in my eyeshadow, dip it in the cap, And then I am going to start by filling in this eyebrow. And we are just gonna make it a little bit taller. Anybody else out there have a short arch, short eyebrows? Am I the only one? <laughs> I'm the only one. No. Oh. What this does also is it kind of helps give you an automatic, I'm not the only one. Thank you. Thank you. I figured there had to be somebody else out there that was a shorty like me. All right. So when you draw this eyebrow up higher, it's kind of like an optical illusion, you guys. It gives you an eye lift, okay? Because it gives you more eyelid space to work with. And who doesn't want an eye lift without surgery, right? Okay, so now we're a little bit equal. Now you notice that this one is a little bit darker than this one. Wonder why? Not because I put my makeup on at six o'clock this morning. That is not why. The reason why is because of that first eyeshadow color that I used. Let me show you here. One Night Sand. I also go back and I use that to set my eyebrow. So for me, that kind of gives me the perfect color look. It just kind of takes it down just a notch because if I use this color for my eyebrow color, it's too light, but the other one's too dark. So that not only sets your eyebrow in place with powder, but it softens it just enough and looks more natural, which is what we're all going for. All right. So now on to the fun part. I'm gonna take this clip out because I feel a little bit ridiculous so you can get the full effect. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys now is our perfect glow drops, our perfect illuminating drops that have coconut in them. And when you think about coconut, it's not really a shiny, pretty object, right? They're kind of hairy little guys, right? <laughs> um, but what we actually have in this is a cool ingredient called cocoa caprolate. Okay. Yeah. Who is, who else is loving these drops? We have three different colors and I'm going to be working with the minis tonight, which are sold out. However, you can still get the large size. Cheryl loves them. You love it as an eyeshadow. Yeah. We're going to get there. So we have the bronze color. We have champagne. And we have Rose A, love it. So for my skin tone, um, champagne works amazing. And I kind of follow the, what I call the Neapolitan ice cream rule. Has anybody ever heard of that Neapolitan? Um, basically what that would be is chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. That's the same way that I lay down my makeup colors. So we're gonna follow that same rule with the glow drops, but I'm just gonna start with champagne because we've already done um, some contouring with our eyeshadow. And really you guys, this goes so far, like not even a full pump is gonna do everything that you need really for your whole face. So um, that's a nice thing about that. You don't have to have a lot of product and you literally just dab it on. I'm gonna, this is a champagne color. So I'm gonna put it in the middle of my cheek now, some people put this on all over their face and then put on their foundation. For me, I like it best 
on top of my foundation and on top of my color because I love the sheen and I want it to be more iridescent. So when I was talking about the Coco Caprolate, that is what makes it milky and hydrating and perfect for this time of year, right? Going into fall and winter, like I said, our skin starts to dry out and we need to stay hydrated because that's gonna give you a more youthful look. It's gonna help your skin um, and it's just gonna give you a nice glow. What's the glowy part in there? I still see, look, and I still have a lot left. Um, the glowy part that's in there is actually from a product called Mica. Um, I remember learning about Mica when I was in school and actually from my dad because he um, is a rock collector. Mica is actually a natural min mineral um, and it has a, a nice sheen to it. So that's where you get the glow is the mica that is in here. So that along with the um, cocoa caprolate, it's just amazing for your skin. So all things healthy with our products. Okay, so we're focusing the glow on the center part of our face and then the outer part, we're gonna keep that matte. That's just the way I like to do it. Like again, some people like to have that all over their face. Thank you, Jamie. Next, I'm gonna move on to the rosé. And again, it just takes a very little bit, not even a full pump. These are gonna last so long. Now for this, this is the vanilla part of my Neapolitan ice cream, okay? I don't know why I have to keep going back to food. Can you tell I'm hungry? I used, Since I used to be a baker, that just helps me um, relate everything. So we're gonna do the lightest color on top from far away. You look great. Give your head a tilt and you have that nice sheen. We're just gonna blend this a little bit more. It's also great on the bow of your lips. Try not to get it up here higher than actually the edge of your lip because you really don't wanna look like you have a sweaty lip, okay? But if you just put it in that little bow right there, so pretty and it helps give a little bit of a pout to your lip because any place that you put anything light and bright and iridescent, is gonna make that stick out. So maybe you wanna put it on the bottom part of your lip and just blend that out. It gives you a nice healthy pout. Can you see that? See that glow? Isn't that nice? Okay, so I still have quite a bit of product left on my finger. And for this part with my eye, since I wanna keep it in a small area and I have this pump on my finger, I'm actually gonna use a lip brush you could use any kind of paintbrush. You could even use one of your kids' craft brushes as long as it was clean. It just takes a little bit of product. And I like to put this right under that eyebrow. And this is kind of the same. Um, it's creamier than our Enduring Lip Color, but it does dry. It goes on very creamy and soothing, it, it re just really feels good. It kind of feels like part of a facial. And then you'll see you get that nice sheen. I'm gonna go back and take a little bit more. And I always like to have a little bit of an iridescent look on this inner corner of my eye because it just brightens your look, makes you look more awake, which all of us moms could use, right? And there you go. There's your rosy glow. And I still have product left. I mean, you could do all kinds of things with this. A little bit goes so far. Um, is there any questions that I missed along the way? I really am, you guys, loving. Look at this. Look at this. It's a healthy glow, right? I think it's a it's very great. useful look. Don't you think it's great that we have access to these? I mean, we have needed these and three colors and they're so my daughter looked at them and she said usually a highlighter they don't they don't rub in like ours do they no are, they really don't. really are blendable she was sold i mean she was well, like this is amazing i can't it's it's hard for me to describe the texture to you silky is, is probably the best term i can think of what Silk. do you think so yeah. silky it feels very silky, very luxurious. 
Um, and then it, once it dries, look like it's not coming off on my finger. Um, it's not sticky at all. So, you know, a lot of other highlighters that I've used, that's the, that's the problem with them is that they're sticky. And not only that, but for me being acne prone, they, they clog my, my pores. Um, so this, I think, covers a lot of issues because they're hydrating, they do give you the sheen, they're not sticky, um, and they don't, they don't cause acne. Somebody did ask, oh, the other thing is they don't smell like coconut. I love the coconut smell. I wouldn't mind if it did, um, but that might be a turnoff for some. There is act actually no fragrance to this product at all. If anybody so has a question right now, unmute yourself and ask. You can unmute yourself. Um, and ask if you need to, or you can put it in the chat, either one. Anybody? I'm going to put on my mascara while we're waiting to see if anybody has any questions because I didn't get this eye. No. Nope. Can't miss the mascara, ladies. That's a good one. Okay. Now I'm not going to want to take this off. <laughs> yeah, you're all well, dressed I, up for bed. I know I'm all dressed up and I'm going to bed. That's a darn shame. <laughs> <laughs> I got some on my aisle in here. So I'm just going to. So Teresa has a question. Okay. What's the question? Let's see. Can, can, can you read it for me? Because I can't, I can't see it on my phone. Can you read it, Casey? It disappeared on mine. Sure. She said, can you use all glow colors regardless of your skin tone? And I would say most you, definitely yes. You most definitely can. Like I said, there are the three colors with the bronze, the champagne, and the rosé. Um, I would say that it depends on the placement. So it's just going to be preference. Some people like it all over their face. Um, it is not a, um, it's not a self tanner though. So it is going to come off like makeup. Um, if you were to use all three, my recommendation would be to use the bronzer around the outside frame of your face so that you're actually framing. So the darker color on the outside and then move in with the champagne and then the rosé for your lips and your accents, because it really is very light and iridescent. So you, you're not definitely going to want to put the rosé all over your face but lips and eyes and top of the cheek are great placement for that. It's to me, they are beautiful. They, uh, Cheryl said she used it and she is fair. She used the bronze under her powder today. Oh, right, Cheryl, yeah. Right? Yeah, she used the bronze under it. So I think it was the- Are you sure she wasn't just boozing? She, you said booze instead of bronze. <laughs> she said, what did she say? I, oh, oh, I, I changed it. I, you changed I did it. say booze, but it meant, I meant bronze. So you, it was the auto-correcting. You put the that. bronze under should. what? The uh, colored powder. Okay, colored powder. So I do think that that's an important thing to say. I would think that um, depending on the age range that you're in, it seems like the younger that you are, people like more of the glow. That's the popular um, look these days, right? Um, however, if you're like me, I like it over my makeup and Cheryl is saying she likes it under her makeup. So if you're trying to give yourself some more color but you want a subtle glow, you definitely would wanna put it on under your foundation or under your powder so that you just get a little bit of um, subtle iridescent shining through. Yes. But play with it. The biggest thing mm -hmm. is just um, thank you so much, Shannon. I'm I'm gonna close it up. If yeah, you thank you. Thank you so much, Shannon. Let's all clap for Shannon. Yay. Um. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much for being on here tonight, Casey. Do you have the names of our guests so we can thank them? Yes. Um. We I saw Kelly. Thank you, Kelly, for coming. I think you were Jamie's guest. My Coda Beth had to jump off. She had to take a business call. Um. And then Sweet Rosemary that we all know well is here. Um. Let's Sam see. is here. Do I? 
Suzanne is here. Suzanne, yay. Oh, it was Rosemary. Sus oh, yeah, okay. Oh, thank did you. Yeah. Who else did I see? Did I, who else? Shout yourself out if you are a guest, if I've missed you. I thought I saw two guests of mine. Teresa was one, and then I had okay. another oh, Teresa, one yeah. in the beginning. Teresa, you were chatting with us. Awesome, awesome. And yes. who was your other guest? Okay. So, Casey, I'm here. Who's he? Who's who's that? Is that Terry? No. Oh. Hey, Casey. Ah, Amber, you're still here. I am. <laughs> now your face. Thank you. My Amber is here. Yes, we're so glad you're still here. Thank you. Okay. I'm so proud of you for shouting yourself out. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That means you know how to unmute. <laughs> we will take you. We're all learning, but thank you for spending your evening with us and just getting those glow drops because it's something we didn't know we needed, but now that we have it, we can't imagine life without it because I love just adding it to, you know, the Enduring Lip Color is a mat. And so I love having, I better turn this. I, I love just putting a little bit on my lips when I'm done of that rose, rose, rose. It is so pretty and it kind of seals the enduring lip color. I really think right. it's longer with it on there. So that's a plus two. So thank you so much for being on with us. And we learned so much from you, Shannon. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> I'm gonna grow up someday. And I want to be like Cheryl. <laughs> I do. <didn't... laughs> Me too. So make sure that you, you, the guests that are on here, make sure you get with your beauty guide because now let me make an announcement though too. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time, we usually get to see as beauty guides the unveiling of our Christmas line before any anybody else does well they decided to go big tomorrow and they are doing this big elaborate thing but they're doing it on the lime life corporate facebook page because we have offices worldwide they wanted to be able to for everybody to see it so they're on their big corporate page tomorrow so if you want to watch as a client you can jump on the Lime Life by Alcone Facebook corporate page tomorrow at 11 and you can see the same time we see it. I don't think they will say prices because prices across the world are different. And so they will be showing everything and it is going to be, I am so excited. You have no idea how excited I am. So it will be an ugly sweater, but it will be tomorrow for everybody. So it's what in our 80s, in the 80s. Yes, uh, I guess your mom um, left and now she's coming back, Shannon, but we're cool. okay. Did I fine. leave her out? <laughs> yeah, just leave her out. She's fine. Okay. <laughs> she sees me all the time. Just okay. <laughs> well, you're not everybody. Also, as far well, as okay. being on Lime Life corporate page, your beauty guide will likely bring it onto their VIP page too. So don't you little worry your little booty. Yes. Your beauty guide will make sure that you have access to the, viewing this because we're Since gonna be they're giving us permission and they're yeah. publicly putting it. Yeah. We're gonna be able to put it on our VIP page right after that. We're gonna be streaming it everywhere, so don't worry. But thank you so much. These beauty on a budget that have been so I learn so much every time. And I know we have some girls that come every week, and I'm so proud of them. So thank you so much for being on here. And it was Blair's birthday. So she <laughs> is out and we are here. Y'all have a great <laughs> night. And I'm going to remember. Yes, yes, Adriana, you can. What? Tell your question. I was just answering Adriana's oh. question. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm going to remember to stop the recording. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good night. Bye. Bye.